Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a career and finance reading for the sign of Pisces. These messages will not resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. So I'm going to jump right into it and see what messages Spirit has. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So I'm going to start off by pulling some overall messages. So spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces? Career and finance messages. Okay, health. So let's see if we can get one more message. Okay, abundance, yes. I'm getting like with this health card, spirit is saying mental health. So for some of you, there's a need for you to address some mental health issues that you may be having or heard depression. So some of you may suffer from depression, but spirit is asking you to take care of your mental health issues. Um, to really get the help that you need, whether that is counseling, meditation, having healing work done, however you feel that you need to address this issue, go ahead and do it. Take care of your health. Take care of your inner being. Take care of your thoughts. Spirit says blessings. Abundance, blessings. Spirit says for some of you, there's something that you have been waiting on that is getting ready to manifest. So there's something that you have been working on and things are getting ready to work out in your favor. I heard turning around. Spirit is turning the situation around for you and you are getting ready to see success. So let's go deeper into your messages. Yeah, I'm just getting depression. So yes, someone is um, suffering from depression. And so there's a need for you to address that, to take care of that, to make sure that you know your thoughts are balanced. So that you can be balanced completely. Everything starts with the mind. When the enemy attacks us, first he starts with our thoughts, with our mind. So that's why it's so important to take care of your mind. Be mindful of the things that you watch, the things that you are listening to. Watch the energy around you, the people that you have around you, the things that they're speaking about. Just really guard your thoughts, guard your mind in this season. Protect your mind. It is very important in this season for you to protect your mind. I have the bone collector. I have sad embrace in the reverse. I have gentle gardener in the reverse. Magical Map Shifter. Mm -hmm. 
deep freeze and coming to life. Just going back to the mental health, it's like your ability to manifest is affected by your thoughts. That's why it's so important to guard your thoughts against attacks from unseen forces, attacks from people around you, even attacks from yourself. Because sometimes we can be our own worst enemy. So yes, guard your thoughts. If you're suffering from any type of mental health issue, definitely go and get the help that you need so that you can be in a balanced space. So I feel that things are getting ready to turn around for you. A shift is getting ready to take place. You are coming out of feeling disappointed. And I feel that You don't feel you necessarily need to be watched over. It's like you have dealt with the issue at hand and you are just ready to move forward. You may have not been able to see the progress that you want. You may have felt like or you may be currently feeling as if things are very stagnant. But a shift is getting ready to take place in your life that is going to make your wishes come true. A dream is getting ready to be fulfilled for you. So let's go deeper. Spirit, give me a message for the bone collector. Okay, I have the Seven of Wands, the Four of Swords in the reverse, the Nine of Discs, which is the Nine of Pentacles, and the Tower. Guard your mind, guard your thoughts. It's time for you to guard your mind and guard your thoughts. Like I said, for some of you, your thoughts are very negative and you're not completely balanced in terms of your mental space. So there's a need for you to guard your mind and guard your thoughts against seen and unseen forces because you're trying to get somewhere. You're trying to get to your nine of pentacles, but it's like you're not going to be able to do so unless your thoughts are completely in alignment because something is coming, an unexpected shift. That is going to move you forward onto the path that you want for yourself. But it's like you're stuck because I heard faith. Some of you lack faith. Some of you are being your own worst enemy. And you're doubting yourself. So that's why it's important for you to guard your thoughts so that you will be able to manifest, so that you will be able to move forward and get to your nine of pentacles, get to your financial abundance, your financial independence. Because once you learn to guard your thoughts, that is when things are going to start to move forward for you. That is when this shift is going to happen. And you're going to see the change that you have been expecting. Yes, bone collector. Choose to collect things that are positive. 
to collect things that are going to benefit you, that are going to help you grow. You are in control of what you collect on this journey that we call life. If you choose co to collect things that are negative, then your results are going to be negative. But if you choose to collect things that are positive, positive energy, positive thoughts, you let your actions and your words be positive, then you will see a positive outcome. So you are the bone collector, but what you collect is up to you. So let's get a message for sad embrace in the reverse. Five of Wands. Conflict. And if you look at the wands on top of her head or his head, conflict, not sure of which direction to take, not having clarity about a situation. Yes, guard your thoughts, guard your mind so that you can gain clarity, so that you will be able to move forward. It's like you're no longer stuck, but now that you are free or now that you are becoming free from the negative emotions, from the sadness, from the disappointment, you don't know which direction you want to go. It's unclear to you. Let's get a message for Gentle Gardener in the reverse. I have the Prince of Discs, which is the Knight of Pentacles. I have Death. And I have King of Wands. You are getting ready to go, or I should say to experience, a major shift in your life. And this is probably why you are experiencing a lot of negative thoughts because you are doubting yourself and there are forces that do not want to see you experience this new beginning and that is why it's so important for you to guard yourself guard your mind i heard meditation for some of you you need to start doing some meditations that can really help relax your mind, relax your thoughts. But you are getting ready to experience a major shift. I have the tower, I have death, and I have magic map shifter. Things are getting ready to completely move in your life. You are about to experience a profound change. An earth-shattering change. Your life will never be the same. You will never be the same. But it's like with this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. You're doubting. This transformation, this change, this ending. It's like with this death card, it's time for you to get rid of the old and embrace the new. It's time for you to come back to life. It's time for you to release and let go of the dead weight. Be the king of wands confident in this direction. But it's like there's a part of you that lacks confidence as far as knowing whether or not 
you're making the right decision, whether or not this new opportunity is stable. But yes, because this is going to create a new change for you. I feel that this is something you're passionate about. But it's like you're doubting the stability of this. You don't know if you're going to see the success that you want. If you're going to experience the change that you're seeking. But the passion is there. I heard force. Gentle gardener in the reverse. It's like force. Spirit may force your hand on the situation. Because spirit understands that you are hesitant. So something is going to happen that is going to force you to move into this direction. Because of your hesitation. There's a need for you to go onto a new path. There's a need for you to shed the old skin. Because there's something bigger waiting for you than you could have ever expected. But it's like your thoughts is what is hindering you. You worrying about this. Release the worry and trust the process. Let's get a message for a magic map shifter. the four of cups in the reverse and I have the five of disc you don't feel that you're going to be happy you feel that you're going to be missing out on something if you accept this new beginning if you accept this new cycle that is what the issue is you don't know if this is going to bring you happiness, if this is going to bring you emotional fulfillment, and you feel that you may be missing out on other opportunities that could probably bring you the success that you want for yourself. Spirit is saying the time is now. It's time for you to seize this new opportunity. I heard a job. For some of you, this has to do with a job, possibly a career change. It's time for you to release that fear and seize, and seize this new opportunity. Because this is where your growth lies. This is where you're going to find true happiness, true fulfillment. This is going to lead you to your purpose. Let's get a message for Deep Freeze. Because you've been resisting this for a long time for some of you. It's like you don't want to go. Because you're afraid of the unknown. You're fearful. But if you take it, you're going to be the queen of pentacles. You're going to be successful, abundant. And look at how she's holding this stick. Confidence. And look at what's on her head. Success. Pentacles. All of the hard work that she's put in. All of the labor. Everything that has manifested in her life. Bearing fruit. Yes, her hard work is bearing fruit. You're able to see her success. You're able to see what she has been manifesting. It's not hidden. This is what 
or I should say who you will become, the queen. But you must be willing to accept this new path. Do not be fearful, you can handle it, whether this is a promotion, a job change, a change of a career, starting your own business, you can handle it. God never puts more on you than you can bear. If you accept this, you are going to be successful. Do not fear this change. You may not see how this situation is going to end, but you don't need to see it. You just need to enjoy the journey. Let's get a message for coming to life. Queen of Wands, Jack of all trades. You can do it all. You have done it all. And whatever you thought was dead is coming to life. It's getting ready to take off. All of the work that you put in is getting ready to manifest. You were very confident for some of you when it came to this business endeavor, starting your own business. You put in a lot of work, a lot of energy into this. You were very confident in the direction that you were going. And it's like things were not moving at the rate that you wanted them to. But it's like now things are getting ready to shift. And you are getting ready to see things to start picking up. Things are getting ready to pick up, I should say. Things are getting ready to pour in for you. Blessings are getting ready to pour in. It's like suddenly a huge shift is going to take place and you're not going to be expecting it because you've been working on this for so long and you haven't been seeing the fruits of your labor pay off. But suddenly a huge shift, suddenly notoriety, suddenly success, suddenly prosperity, suddenly you are the queen of pentacles in the blink of an eye. That's why it's so important for you to work on your mental state. Because you need to be completely grounded mentally, emotionally, in order to possess the power of the Queen of Pentacles, the power of the Queen of Wands. You have to be confident in your abilities, confident in what you are doing. I heard attacks. Some of you are experiencing spiritual attacks. That's why it's so important for you to guard your mind. Meditation, for some of you, meditation is very important for you. I heard at night. It's important for you to meditate at night before you sleep. Because I feel that in your sleep, Spirit says the most. That is when the enemy attacks you the most. That is when the enemy attacks your thoughts the most in your sleep. So you need to start meditating before you sleep. But yes, great things are coming. Great things are ahead. But you just need to be open to moving forward. Do not fear change. And guard your energy, your mind, yourself. 
I go back to health. Yes, mental health is important. Everything starts with the mind. Everything starts with the thoughts and abundance. Yes, spirit clarified it. Queen of Pentacles. The Tower. Death. Magic Map Shifter. Things are getting ready to shift for you, to turn around for you. But you just have to be in a space where you can receive it, where you can handle it. So start working on yourself. I heard spiritual work. Yes, get more into spiritual work so that you can be completely aligned. So I'm going to get one more message from the universe has your back. The universe works fast when I'm having fun. Yes, when you are just living your life, enjoying life, not worrying, not letting the situation consume you, that is when things work out. That is when things manifest. That is when things shift and turn around for you. Yes, the universe is going to work fast. Like I said, this is going to happen very quickly in the blink of an eye. But you have to release the need to control the outcome. Once you give it over to God, once you give it over to spirit, that is when you're going to see the change that you want. That is when this shift is going to happen. But you have to release. And it first starts by you releasing thoughts that do not serve you. It's going to happen quickly. And it's time for you to get prepared. So I hope that these messages resonated. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.